I think I'm going to try to make me a homemade bridge uh, because the head is a little bit softer than normal on the uh, priority mail banjo. It needs a kind of an extra tall bridge and this is the tallest one I have and it's a little shallow for that. I, I can put some shims up under there and it'll stop the string buzz but it also messes up the sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw off a kind of a rough pattern on here except make it a, a good bit taller. I'll make it a little extra tall because I can grind the feet down on the uh, on the sander out there and go ahead and cut me out a, a bridge or two on the saw out there and then uh, come back in and see if it works. Man, that's one ugly looking bridge right there, but uh, it'll be fun to see if it works. What I'll do is I'll take this other one and mark my notches in here for my strings and then notch them out with a coping saw and uh, stick it on there and see how she sounds. Okay, I've got my bridge on there and it actually sounds great. Pretty good sound for an envelope. And it's nice and clear. But it's a little bit too tall. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the distance that I want that to come down. And I'm going to take it and stand it up on my uh, uh, table sander. And I'm just going to grind it down just about if I get it just about exactly right, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? So that's what I'm going to work for is to try to take maybe, oh, about an eighth, somewhere between the sixteenth and an eighth of an eighth of an inch off of it. We'll see how that works. I think that homemade bridge worked out pretty well. It's not very pretty, but uh, it seems like it works good to me. I have no complaints with this. Uh, the strings are maybe half a hair higher than they could be. I could grind it down some more, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it right there. Sometimes good enough is good enough. Y'all have a nice day.